Swissborg is the official partner of my channel where you can buy, sell, hold, and more importantly, stake your cryptocurrencies. You can even earn yield on your stable coins. Sign up with my link and you'll earn up to $100 worth of their native token CHSB just for depositing 50 euros worth of crypto. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at the dump party. Down almost 5%, at some point it was 5% on Bitcoin's chart. We're looking at it here on the weekly and what do we see? A 200 weekly moving average being kissed gently uh, this morning. A tender kiss, a peck on the cheek there for the old 200 simple moving average. You might not think that that's a great deal of relatives. You know, they might just think, ah, whatever, whatever. I'm looking at the one minute chart and it doesn't look very good at all. It wouldn't look good. I can tell you no time frames are going to look very good apart from the weekly, which is showing some sign of super mega bounce. This, I'm not saying that this is what's actually going to happen. But it actually could, and it could happen significantly. So we broke above this in, well, spectacular fashion, didn't we? So a couple of months back. Prior to that, though, badoosh, daboosh, problems. Um, but, yeah, since we broke down and had this little wavy period around it, the 200 simple's actually been a pretty big deal for, uh, for, for Bitcoin. Uh, what don't we need? We don't need gold, really. It's just doing the same old thing. So let's have a look at Bitcoin USD on Bitstamps, longer history, get to a weekly. Uh, and we'll have a look at what, what's been going on on the weekly for the 200 simple moving average. So there's your 200 simple, so it's a bit skinnier on my TradingView account. Excellente. Let's go back in time. What, what, what used to happen with the 200 simple? We used to accumulate around it, didn't we, on bear markets. So there we go. Nice and tidy, lovely, easy does it, bang, up you go to your bull market. Anything like that in previous areas on the charts? Um, sorry, I don't want to have to start clicking log scale. So it's a little messy. This is back in uh, 2015. So yeah, we spent a fair bit of time sort of dancing around it within a small margin and then up, up, on, up and away. Now, this isn't just a Bitcoin thing. This isn't anything thing, right? This isn't anything and everything thing. The 200 simple moving average for an investment perspective is a yes or no scenario right so you're looking into something for the long haul you've checked your fundamentals you've done your research you want an entry point and then you're waiting for the technicals on a larger longer period to to meet well i suppose an acceptable level a retest of a 200 simple moving average would be that for an investor now, an investor isn't going to be looking at this on a five-minute crack trading chart. They're not going to be looking at this and going, there's no bullish divergence on the one minute. They're not going to be doing that. They'll be thinking, all right, okay, yeah, so we've seen an uptrend form. We're still in an uptrend now. We've come down to test the 200 simple moving average on a weekly. Fair enough. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's go. What's the risk to reward? Well, the risk would probably be something along the lines of maybe, I don't know, 25% down. Uh, all right, what's the reward? Well, probably something along the lines of a 200% you know, up. All right, so that's 200% gain versus 20%, 25% uh, loss. That's acceptable. And so this would be an entry point for anyone who's looking to buy in for a long to uh, long haul. Uh, recognize 25% down, completely plausible, not unlikely whatsoever. Uh, and 200% gain. Absolutely, completely likely, not unplausible either. Uh, so both of those give you a risk to reward that outweighs the risk, okay? So that would be what I would be looking at here from an investment perspective. Now, on a technical perspective, on the short-term timeframes, we've already measured down a bit further, haven't we? Uh, which gave us a read of just below 25,000. And a bit further than that, could see 22,000. All of that absolutely on the cards when it comes to the daily. The four hour is going to look like a pile of... Um, uh, crud isn't it steaming steaming crud uh with that area down here into into the mid 24s so i'm not here to tell you that we're gonna springboard back up on the short term time frames we looked at a weekly we recognize that the weekly can do that and that the weekly is an acceptable entry point for anyone who wants to buy in for the long haul and um, even a short term might bounce from there i mean it is a significant moving average to to be uh, to be like i say tenderly kissed in the night but even the weekly is not perfect, let's face it. And if we do break from here, we've got a 50 exponential, we've got a 21 exponential, and we've got a 20 simple moving average. So from here to below 25,000, um, and maybe even you know 24,000, I can see that. I can see that happening, right? I definitely see that. 200 weekly moving average is just that. It's a line in the sand. It's an opportunity for all. 
to think for the long haul, okay? So the risk to reward on the higher term time frames being absolutely acceptable. On the shorter term time frames, probably, yeah, probably looking for further downside anyway. So let's just take our eyes over to um, the euro, which uh, again on the daily revisited the the 50 exponential, which we see this we've seen this quite a few times on a lot of charts. Uh, and now what we're going to try and do is bounce from here. And the S and P futures still trending above all major moving averages after revisiting its 200, uh, sorry, its 50 exponential once and twice and trying it again. So I actually look at this as actually quite bullish on the S&P. Maybe not really bullish on uh, Euro, but it's not completely bearish, not quite yet. But uh, but yeah, there might be a bit of weakness now being expressed in Forex, which can easily transfer over to indices, which will then emphasize any further downside for Bitcoin. So long story short, really, long-term investors might be looking at this now and going, all right, fair enough, let's do this. This is what the expectations will be, I suppose. Something along these lines. You know, there you go. That That's what we'll be looking for, okay? Uh, and then, uh, you know, they'll pull the trigger. Fair enough. All right. Well, entry point. First entry point here. And the second entry point here. Third entry point down here. Wherever it goes. Uh, acceptable risk to reward ratio. And, um, and yeah, S&P, like I say, actually looks pretty sweet. But without the help of Forex, which again, if we think about uh, the Euro uh, behaving like that, and then let's just have a think about the Dixie just very briefly. And Dixie actually reached a, a bit of a peak and is trying to uh, trying to um, to reclaim this area here. I don't see it, not with all these multiple drives of uh, hidden bearish divergence. So I'll be looking for this to actually come down, reaching a temporary peak, and maybe we could start to think about an uptrend building on this at some point soon, but not right now. Not right now. I think that move we saw yesterday will get faded out and we make our way back down to the low and maybe even break down from there. Well, I'm waiting, just as I have been waiting for a while now, for a dollar bounce. You know, we got the first initial one back down here and, and this is a reasonable area to expect to bounce from. But if we do lose it, like I think we probably will lose it, um, we make our way down further over time. Uh, towards the bottom of this trend line that we've been so accustomed to over the last 12 or so years. Right, so that is basically all there is to say about that. Um, tonight, there is a live stream. We'll be looking at whatever you want me to look at. If you want to join the Patreon, there's links in the description below. Otherwise, just stay subscribed and I'll make videos as and when. But it'll be hard-pressed to find any significant charts amongst all of this madness when we expect further downside or further downside is likely. However, it is worth recognising that some of these altcoins, for whatever reason, are, um, are holding up. I don't expect them to hold up, in all fairness, but for the moment, they are. And so we'll just give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. It's nice to know that they are some of the altcoins that I've picked up, but I don't think it'll be sustained. Not if Bitcoin decides to lose that 200 weekly. Uh, I think we'll probably come down into the 24s, maybe even a tad lower. But right now, there is ever so slightly a bit of hope that we do bounce from there. Um, and I would focus on Forex to be the driving force of that, um, allowing the S&P to continue to go up, allowing gold to continue to go up, and Bitcoin and altcoins. So we'll see. So there is hope on today's chart, but it is based on a weekly, which again, is very strong support, but it's only it's only a weekly chart do you know what i mean it might not be enough to uh to, to prop it up and if we do get a bounce from here on that weekly for bitcoin it'll probably be faded anyway and the fade would most likely be you know somewhere along the lines of the 20 moving average yeah, so around twenty eight thousand, just as it was the last time we saw the bounce the live stream we did around here i said uh, on tuesday this is our range likely to bounce up to here, be sold off, and come back down to the bottom. Whichever way it breaks, going to have continuation. So we have broken. So I would be looking for the continuation. Uh, but uh, if we did pump up, we might get a, a pump outside of the top of the range of this 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 formation, which is already broken. And then just like a liquidity grab, really, to pick up some short positions. Um, and again, it wouldn't take long to know if you're wrong. You take your positions around the 21 exponential, which is around 28,140. Maybe the 20 moving average, right, 28,360. And then shorts for that to bring us at least back down to where we are right now and maybe a bit lower over time. Right, thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.